Hey guys, it's me Steve, Cliff Banshee Chevrolet. Today I'm here to talk to you about this 2023 CA Corvette behind me. Originally, the last time we talked, I told you guys I had planned to do a couple videos on the inside of the CA Corvette, the driver information center and the radio. A lot of different nuances in both of those menus and lo and behold, this week we've sold this Corvette and it is getting pulled out of here tomorrow and taken away. So uh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get to those videos today. I think today what I mostly want to talk to you about is what this Corvette is on our floor. It is truly my color and I just want to go over that really quick. Maybe if I have time we'll get into the driver information center really quick. Go over that menu. It's not as complex as the radio itself. So um, we'll see where this thing goes today and if not I don't like it then it just won't happen and we'll just talk about the Corvette. All right, let's get to it. So it's the 70th birthday of the Corvette. You're seeing the ability to order the 70th anniversary edition of the Corvette. This one isn't a 70th anniversary edition. This one does have the 70th anniversary uh, sticker on the back window that goes up and down when you drop the top um, up and down on the Corvette. So this C behind me is a 3LT. We know it has that 6.2 liter V8. 495 horsepower paired up with an eight speed dual clutch automatic transmission. We certainly don't hide the fact we have had a couple customers with that transmission issue that you're seeing on the C8. However, both instances, Chevrolet was able to fix it and both customers are extremely happy right now. Two of the things with this Corvette behind me are absolutely my favorite things. First off, it's the Arctic white color. I absolutely love white vehicles. The second thing I absolutely just love about this vehicle is the interior. It has that adrenaline and red interior and then we opted to order, we actually had the opportunity to order this vehicle for stock. And this vehicle here is actually, it has a two-tone interior so it has that adrenaline red with the black leather. It is super sharp. With that two-tone seat, we know since we've gone to a 3LT, it has the standard G2 bucket seats. Let's also talk about some of the options that are on this Corvette. So we already know it's a convertible. It has the exhaust exhaust package. It has a magnetic selective ride control, front lift, which we talked about on our previous video. I will put the link to that video right here. Bright red painted brake calipers. We opted for a different wheel. It has the Trident spoke machine face throwing silver painted aluminum wheel. So that gets you the 19 in the front and the 20 inch in the back. And then of course this has the low rear spoiler. That front splitter along with those black rockers really go well with that black accent right he here. And the which is kind of an intake for that back engine as well. So I just think it's a really super sharp looking vehicle. There's only one thing I have to change on. Of course, it comes out on personal preference. I, you guys know I'm a black oil guy. So that kind of builds out what's going on with this Corvette. It is not a Z51. A lot of Z51s have been on constraint and even that 70th anniversary edition has been kind of tricky to get. We've had two C8s we've been able to order for stock and we've sold out both of them rather quickly. So let's go over the driver information center of the C8. Um, as you guys probably know right now, there's uh, a series of set of buttons on here on the steering wheel itself. Right over here is the cruise. Don't need to really get over that. Uh, your favorites are down here and of course the volume for your radio so that way we're keeping your hands on the steering wheel. We're not looking over there. Right here is the Z button. So it's a, a shortcut to the performance mode. And when you do hit that, you can see what happens at the driver information center. It turns red, it kind of gets angry. And it actually gives you a set of options that you can customize for your C8 over here. And then it's just something you can set up for the user. But we're gonna turn that off for now since we're really not gonna be driving this vehicle. So over here, like I said, heated steering wheel, voice command uh, for the for your C8, and then of course uh, this hangs up or ends the command as well. So you can also toggle up by rolling this thing up. You can see all the different things. And then what you want to do is pay attention. You can see the little icons here um, that let you know how many pages are available to you as you roll the wheel up and down. By pressing on this D-pad right or left, also accesses the menus along the top here. So you can see, so as I press that to the right, you can see how the menu slides over. So let's go 
right to the first one, which is trip computer. And then let's get it to the top. And you're gonna see that we have trip one. If you hold the DD pad down, you'll see that it zeroes out the, the trip meter. It gives you your distance, your speed. Go down, trip two. Your fuel economy for your last 50 miles. If you press again the button in this, you're going to see that you can change the amount of distance for this. So if you wanted to see how your fuel economy was for 25, 50, or 450, so a little bit of a longer trip might give you a better idea what you're actually getting on your vehicle. Um, but it's again a personal preference of what you're trying to accomplish with that. We go on to the next one. Uh, we have timer, so you can just keep track of your time and the amount of fuel used in your Corvette. And then the last, uh, we have your current drive cycle, distance, fuel economy, uh, and then, of course, how long you've been driving the vehicle. So then, as you go that down, if you go too far, it cycles back up, and we're here we are at the top. So let's go over to the next menu. Next menu is performance. So up next, we have performance timer. So this is, you can set the speed that you want to time and how long it takes. So this is more for like a zero to 60 start time. If you wanted to see how you, how fast the vehicle can go. Lap time, you have to set that, set that up in your performance data recorder that is available over here on the radio. And lastly, this is your G-forces that are inserted around the vehicle as you're driving. So as you're going uh, right, left, front and then back. So like if you're successfully braking or accelerating, you can uh, see what you're experiencing through the vehicle. Audio, I have this in demo mode right now, but as you set your presets, uh, this is how you would be able to access them. And there's nothing there, so I'm not gonna be able to just keep on going on that. Maintenance, you can see your oil life, transmission life, and all that fun stuff. And the next one, air filter, pretty basic there. As we go to the next one, it shows your engine life, your revs per 10,000, the hours, and then of course the idle hours of the vehicle. So that brings us back to the top. The next one menu over is options. This is where it gets a little tricky. So right now we hit display design. And you click on that menu. And then, then this gives you different modes that you can, oh, let's go, I'm sorry. So the tour, sport. track weather we have snowy weather right now look at it kind of snowstorm and then we go back to the top so we're just going to go back to tour which is where we had it info tile selection so this will give you all different like your oil pressure your oil temperature, and it correlates to what is going on on the left side of the screen, tire status, all different things. So depending on what you all want on this other side of the tile, you can decide there. Speed warning, you guys probably know what's going on with that. You can set your speed warning if you want, but I don't understand why you would ever want to do something like that in the Corvette. Units. This is where you would find it if we were going into metric or US. So um, like if you were going to maybe go to Canada, your vehicle, that's how you would switch that. Tire pressure. If you need to relearn your tire sensors, so some of you uh, will have two sets of wheels maybe, and you need to relearn your tire sensor. Heads up rotation. So this is your heads up display right there. I don't have that. Oh, you can kind of see it right now, but it just calibrates that your software license and how to reset the vehicle. So we don't need to go to that. If the last one is simplified, so if this whole display is too complicated, you just hit the check mark and it got rid of all that, those tiles that we talked about how to program over there. It gives it a cleaner, simpler look. I don't think it's for everybody. It's just something you can do. And that brings us back to all the different things of the C8. So that kind of wraps up the driver information center of the C8. The next time I get one in, we will do the Mylink system. So I know we're eventually having another one in, and that kind of breaks down everything that goes along with that. So
So we got through the driver information center on the CA behind me. We'll have to work on the radio next time we get a Corvette in. And I'll make sure we do that. I appreciate you guys tuning in. If you have any questions or comments, feel free as always to drop them below. Next week's video, I am going to go back in service learn how the oil change process works back here. We do a multi-point inspection for our customers. We're gonna go over what all entails that and just what happens when you bring your vehicle in for service here at Cliff and Shoots Chevrolet. So a little bit now on the sales side, a little more on the service side, which I have no problem going. Uh, the week after that, in March, we have a tire and brake sale coming up. We're gonna go over that a little bit, talk a little parts and service coming up in the next couple of videos, but don't worry, I'll get back to the car. So, I appreciate you guys tuning in. I will catch you on the next one.